Malachi chapter number four. What are some other things that take place after the trip? What happens? What are some things that's got to happen? I believe Jesus Christ could come back any time after the tribulation. After the sun is darkened, after the moon refuses to shine, after the stars fall from heaven, Jesus can come back any time after that. But those are some things that has got to happen. Malachi chapter number 4. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and, the, and all the proud, yea, all that do wickedly shall, shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings. And he shall go forth and grow up as calves to the stall. And he shall tread down the wicked, for he shall be ashes under the soles of your feet. And the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts. Look at verse number 5. Behold, I will send unto you, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. When does that take place? Before the great and terrible day of the Lord. Verse number 6. And he shall turn the heat of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest they come and smite the earth with a curse. Elijah comes before the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Go to 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter number 1. These are some things that take place. Well, that's talking about... That's talking about before God pours out his wrath, it's not the same day. We don't have the same day. Okay, let's go to the New Testament and see what Paul has to say about it. 1 Corinthians chapter number 1 and verse number 7. I, verse number 4, I thank my God always on your behalf for the grace of God which is given you by Jesus Christ, that in everything ye are enriched by him, in all utterance and in all knowledge, even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you, so that ye come behind in no gift, waiting for the what? Coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall also confirm you unto the, unto the end, that you may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's the same day, different events. Jesus Christ is going to come the same day that he pours out his wrath upon the earth. It's the same day, and it's after the tribulation. Amen. Go to 1 Thessalonians chapter number 2. 1 Thessalonians chapter number 2. And I ask myself, why? Why is it that every... Why can't I ever come... Why is it... Why is it that I come across this? And it, it all hinges on whether or not the Jews are the spiritual seed or whether we are the spiritual seed or not. Once you answer that question, everything kind of falls into place. Who are the true Jews? Who are the true left? When we come to understand that we are the spiritual seed of Israel, it kind of changes a lot of things towards it. Verse, 1 Thessalonians chapter number 2, verse number 19. For what is our hope or joy or crown of rejoicing? Are not even ye in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ... At his coming, we're going to be here at the coming of the Lord. When is that? Well, the Bible tells us it's going to be after the tribulation, after the sun, moon, and stars are darkened, after the, the stars fall from heaven, after the sun is darkened, the moon turns to blood. After all that takes place, that's the that's when after the tribulation. That's when we're that's when we're when, that's the coming of the Lord. Um, go to First Thessalonians chapter three, First Thessalonians chapter number three, verse number thirteen. And the Lord, in verse number 11, um, Now God himself and our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ direct our way unto you. And the Lord make you to increase and abound in love one toward another and toward all men, even as we do toward you. To the end he may establish your hearts unblameable in holiness before God, even our Father, at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ with all his saints. That's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for the coming of the Lord. The coming of the Lord and the day of the Lord are the same day. Two different events, but the same day. Separated by 30 minutes. Right? That's what the Bible teaches. I'll get to, uh, you, can, you can ask me later. I'll show you verses. But 1 Thessalonians chapter number 4 and verse 15. If we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are, which are asleep. For the Lord himself should descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the, with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. 
The Bible says that we're going to be preserved blameless in His coming. Chapter 5, verse 23. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's unto the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what we're waiting for. Faithful is he that calleth you who will also do it. Brethren, pray for us. So he says here, it's preserved blameless unto the coming of the Lord. Second Thessalonians. Well, this, that's good, but when is this coming? Second Thessalonians chapter number 2. The Bible says, Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering together unto him, that you be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as that day, as, at, as, that day, as at the day of the Lord is at hand, the day of Christ is at hand. Wait, it's talking about the gathering of the Lord together and the day at hand? It's talking about the same day. Don't be troubled that it hasn't happened yet, but it's going to happen in the same self, same day. Look at verse number 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there be a falling away first. There's got to be a falling away. Well, that's, we talk about what's well, already happened. Well, no, it's still happening today. It happened 2,000 years ago. It's still happening even today. There's still that falling away. And the Bible says in verse number 3, except there come a falling away first, and that the, the, the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he is God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. That's the abomination of desolation when he causes the desolation of the seats. That's talking about the same self, same day. When does this take place? It comes the day of the Lord, the day of his coming. It's the self, same day. And we, we get some t I, when I remember when I first got saved, um, there was a guy who got saved. There was an older guy who was like 14 or 15. He got saved the same day I got saved. And I remember like years, it was like 30 years ago. I remember, him, I remember talking. It was like, he was like, well, what about the Antichrist? I remember every time we had a question and answer time at church, they'd raise their hand and say, well, who is the Antichrist? Are we going to be here for the Antichrist? What's the mark of the beast? Why is it that new believers are so enamored and so worried about the mark of the beast? I'll tell you why. The answer that they kept saying was, we're not going to be here for that. But how many of us, we, get, we start wondering, we want to know about the mark of the beast. Well, how do I know? Because we watch Fox News and they come talking about a microchip 20 years ago. They start talking about a microchip. How many of us start getting worried when they start talking about the mark of the beast? We all kind of got worried about that. Why? Because deep down inside, we know that we're going to be here for it. We know deep down it's going to be in us. The Holy Spirit of God is trying to teach us. And we go to our pastors. We go to our Sunday school teachers. We go to our, to our parents. And they say, oh, well, it's, it's not for us. Well, according to the Bible, it is. Why is, it, why, is it that we, why, is it, why is it that we don't address it? It's because we don't, it changes everything we believe and stand for. It, believes, it changes everything we know and believe. If we just go to the Bible and ask, when is the coming of the Lord? When does this take place? How many times does the sun, moon, and stars get darkened? How many times? 